character. Oh, oh, finally in game. Okay. Well, the inside looks normal. Is it? Oh, wait, no, this is, you painted this. This is all wood. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's not good. It's not good looking wood either. <laughs> well, I feel goodness. I feel like I'm in a cabin or something. Well, I'm not liking some of this wood grain. Interesting. You have it looks like you have even two different types of wood going. Well, yeah. I will say I'm happy you did that cuz if you being online means I probably have stuff to some seeds to you might <laughs> to plant. So, let me grab my seeds here. Looks like the 70s. Yeah, it kind of feels like the 70s. <laughs> What's up, fire? All right, let's see. Do I have enough stuff to make any more? I need rotting flesh. I don't suppose we have any extra rotting flesh around, probably. Uh, couldn't tell you. I mean, I always got to check the pie. The pie loops. He's got all the random stuff. Anybody's got random rotting flesh would be him. Although he's probably been giving me all the stuff he's got. Uh, I did send you an invite. Oh, thank you. I always forget that. Yeah. All right. Go. All right. First things first. Time to punch some stuff. Oh, is it nighttime outside? Nope. That's just how black everything is. Oh, now. it is. Yeah. Okay. What day is it? Forty-seven. So forty-nine. Wow. We might get a. We might get a. Blood Moon today, so I might have to work on some of our uh, our defenses potentially. What's up, Fire? How are you doing, sir? All right, tree punching time. I apparently have a broken leg. Oh crap! Is it a sprained leg? Ah, uh, splinted leg. Okay, so I probably shouldn't be running around on a splinted leg. Uh, you about to see if you can climb. You're stalling out 3,500 in uh, Storybook Brawl. Yeah. I haven't gotten my first win the last couple days because of just other stuff I've been playing. Okay, mushrooms are not done. What about this other stuff? Potatoes, corn, nice. I get so much satisfaction of harvesting all my plants. No, I'm going to be able to make delicious food. <laughs> Alright, so let me... So I keep track of what this is. This is corn. That's corn. That's potatoes. Oops. Alright, we got yucca. Yucca seeds. Hey, what's up, Sideline Angel? Has it been a while? Well, I'm glad to glad to see you again. Hope you're having a a great. What are we in? March. Great March. Great spring. You wish farmers actually punched their crops to harvest. That would be an interesting sight. <laughs> you know it. You can get prize fighters to come. You know. Harvest your stuff for you. That one's still growing. All right, hop seeds. All right, we've got blueberries here. Okay, blueberries. I have a couple of those seeds already. Yep. Okay, super corn. All right, more potatoes. I'll tell you, I've been looking forward to, uh, Getting on that gyrocopter and scouting out the map. That's what I'm looking forward to doing today. Yeah, just make sure you got enough fuel on you. Yeah, I need to take extra fuel, that's for sure. 
If I got that thing stranded in the middle of the map, that would be... <laughs> yeah. Total noob play right there. I don't want no noobs around here. I got one seed out of all that goodness. Good coffee. And this is the ugliest looking psychedelic house in the world. <laughs> psychedelic Ugh. house. Gosh. It's like all these wood stripes are like freaking me out. <laughs> okay, so this will be coffee. Well, whatever. I'm done. I'm done doing that. <laughs> <laughs> You're done painting. Yeah. I'm just done. Hello there. Okay. All right. So this will be our super corn. Did I get any super corn seeds? Did not. How many can I make? Three. God, I cannot. Some of these crops I can't get off the ground. Super corn just refuses to play ball with me here. <laughs> Did you give it a good talking to? Um, I'm trying. Come on, super corn. Get your act together. All the other we plants. You, super corn? <laughs> yeah, all the other plants are making fun of you. You gonna take that or you gonna, you know, get off your ass? <laughs> uh... right, how many hop seeds do I need? One, two, three, just three? Just three. Oh, I do have your gyrocopter on me. Oh, do you? Um, okay. Yeah, because I had to pick it up. Okay, I probably will make sure uh, make sure that you get it for me to keep it in your inventory. Yeah, that's what I want to do. That way, when I'm out and about, I can find it. Okay, so how many corn? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven corn seeds. Okay. Yeah, Super Corn needs to learn to be like his more successful younger bro brother, Regular Corn. <laughs> he's, he's, you know, a big shot at a bank now, and Super Corn's just, you know, flipping burgers. Hey, poor Super Corn. I know, man. Get your act together. Supercorn just hasn't had the same opportunities. Try a new card game called Legends of Runeterra. Uh, I've not played it, but I know about it because I watched League of Legends, and that's the, uh, the League of Legends card game. I've heard of it, but not played it. I don't know if it's any good. Kind of like Magic the Gathering. Okay. All right, pumpkins. We need four pumpkins. Nine minutes for five, so five pumpkin seeds. Honestly, I can only take so many card games in my life at once. I'm not a <laughs> I'm not a huge card gamer. So I got I got the uh, Thorbrook Brawl, and that's enough for me. Right, seven blueberry seeds. Coffee, so one, two, three, four, five coffee seeds. All right, that's all the super corn I could make. Aloe vera. Oh, oh, I have two blueberry places, and they're separated. Whoops. Okay. Six more blueberry seeds. Oh, apparently that's the most I can make. Weird. Okay. And that is 
versus hops. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, running is bad for my splinted leg. Apparently, I thought I thought running was okay on splinted legs. I thought it was only sprains that you couldn't run on. Hey, what's up, Rick Viper? How are you doing? But maybe I'm misremembering. Chat. Okay. Uh oh, I see a crack in my farm. Apparently, some random zombies must have taken a bite out of them. Okay. Took a bite out of crime. Bite out of the crime of my 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 farm is a crime. All right, I'm gonna come get the uh, gyrocopter from you. Very slowly as I walk on my splinted leg. <laughs> Got my YouTube video FTL context you had to follow here. Well, awesome. Welcome to the live stream. This is where the birth of the FTL videos come from. Glad to have you, my friend. All right, so day 47. So day 49 is going to be the seventh seven day. Seventh seventh day. So that's going to be... That's going to be... Probably the worst... Um, uh, blood when we've had you think 49, yeah so i'm gonna go out exploring but maybe all day on the 48th and 9th i might i might work on more defenses i want to i want to make it so that when they get through my traps they can't walk up the ladder or walk up the stairs so i want to like make it so that we can maybe block those off or something oh <laughs> you've made these supply chests uh they're just painted. oh they're painted <laughs> i was like why can't i click on those okay All right, so let's see here. Um, how much food do we have? Oof, we have a whole bunch of meat stew. You sh nobody should ever go hungry in my house anymore. We have meat stew for days. So, I think I might need... Do I need to get some... I should probably get some more water. Do we have any empty bottles? Oh, you've been boiling it, it looks like. Potatoes and corn. Oh my god. This flickering drives me crazy. Uh, I need wood here. Where's meat stew? What am I missing? Meat stew I need... Oh, meat and animal fat, of course. Meat stew needs meat. Who would have thought it? All right, how many of those can we make? Ten more meat stews, all right. Okay. I can't believe I still have these random White River Supply supplies in my inventory. <laughs> They're just never going away. Okay, so I'm gonna. Do you, you say you have the uh, gyrocopter on you? Can I get that from you? Yeah, I gotta take it outside. Hold on. Can you just give it to me? Like uh, you, you can't just pass. Oh, you can't. Um, okay, you actually have to put it on the no ground. No trade. Gotcha. Oh, let me get extra fuel then. Extra fuel. Take a whole stack of that. Well, I like, I mean, this this looks very sleek with this painting. <laughs> and the the brick now is very, uh, very postmodern. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. So if I interact and I pick this up. Oh, uh, you have to unlock it, actually. Is it locked? Yeah, it's locked. Uh, yep, it is. Sorry. There you go. Thank you. And then I think will allow me to pick it up. Yeah, and then if I put it down, then I'll be able to find it as I go around. Okay, sweet. 
Kind of go put it on the road so it'll be easier to launch. You need to make yourself a whatever it's called. What is it called? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> don't ask me these kind of questions. I should make whatever it is called. Um, a landing strip is what I meant to say. Ah, interesting. Okay. That is a good idea. How much storage does this have? Oh, it's not too bad. I'll put the gas can in there. Is it fully fueled? It is fully fueled. Uh, I want to I wanna get exploring. Maybe when I come back, I'll make a, um, a landing pad for it. Landing strip. Because I really want to see if I can find the wasteland today. Was it C? It's C. Okay. All right, which direction do I think it would be? Uh, let's start northeast. God, this chatter capture is so like... It's cool, but it feels so flimsy in the air. <laughs> it feels so flimsy. It's not flimsy. It's made tender loving care. <laughs> okay, I have a feeling if I go over these mountains to the east, there's going to be nothing, but you know what? Now I actually can get over these mountains a little easier, so let's give it a try. No more riding a off-road jeep over the rocky mountains and getting stuck on the mountain. <laughs> Oh, Pie Boy just got on the same day's die. I wonder if he'll be joining us. Yeah, I messaged Pie. Okay, nice. Hmm. This seems to go through fuel pretty quickly. I might need to make a mod or two for this thing. I think I have a couple mods that I'll be able to put oh, on nice. here. Okay, this does not. I think these mountains might just be the edge of our map. See snow over that way. Hmm. Uh, if you don't, if you don't hold down W like going forward, your gyrocopter just kind of slowly starts falling. <laughs> so if I like check the map, I'm like. Oh, oh, I, I'm, I'm going down. Okay, let's get back. Uh, <laughs> let's get back going. All right, well, I have a good view on the snow biome. Did I put a supercharger on this thing? I honestly can't remember if I did or not. I think you did. Yeah, so I think I did, and this thing still feels really slow. Uh, this is supercharged, two miles an hour. Put, 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 put. Yeah, like, okay. It doesn't have a jet engine on it. <laughs> True. It can only go so much. True. You don't get to get so much out of it. I need, I need my jet, uh, jet propulsion. Jet propulsion gyrocopter is what I need. What's cool, I can actually see where all these little roads lead to. So, like, I see this little road I haven't explored, but it goes to just this little house in the middle of the snow. So, I know that's not anything important. A lot of putts. Need to work on my short game. <laughs> you must be a golfer. Oh, man, I'm going to start freezing, probably flying over the snow biome. We should have put a cockpit on this thing. It's so cold. <laughs> okay. I spend all my points. I did. I did. I, I, I did. Wait, can I do this? No. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure from what I'm seeing up in the air, if there are mountains with no roads leading to them, that is basically the edge of your map. It gotcha. doesn't look like anything else spawns out there. At least that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> I clicked on the stupid supply box. <laughs> I was doing this like, man, look like, at all these extra chests. Not... Why is this not opening? <laughs> okay, so my bad. Trolled yourself, man. Trolled yourself. I did. I did. Wow. Hobo stew. All this meat stew. Oh, Shepherd's yeah. pie. Wow, fancy. I know. I'm telling you, man. We eat good at Rand's diner. It's, it's a mom and pop place, a little hole in the wall place, but it's delicious. I like it. It's right next to the cold beer. <laughs> I like that. That's yeah, some meat stew and some beer. What could be better? Let's see here. Well, chili dogs might be better, but it's, you know, it's a close second. That's I, I, I'd give anything for them to actually make, in this game, a chili dog to look like a chili dog and not like a piece of paper. <laughs> it looks like a piece of paper? Well, everything that you eat looks like a piece of paper or some kind of packaged bread or something. It's weird. Well, the meat stew looks like a pot with oh, stew does in it? it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess I never noticed. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Well, I was hoping this would be a fast way to explore. It's not <laughs> feeling that much faster, honestly. Uh. I'm just really hoping to find the wasteland biome today. Hmm. Kind of want to go land and refuel. I might do that after we see if there's anything north of this frozen area over here. I feel like this thing flies the speed that I run. God, it's so slow. Uh, let's go ahead and land here. Ooh, like a glove. Beautiful, smooth landing. Jar is mostly for scouting. No cargo capacity on the inventory. There is a little bit of cargo capacity, yes. Now, let's, uh, let me... I'll show you the cargo capacity, actually. So, it's like this. It's like an extra... Uh, extra inventory space. It, like, doubles your inventory. It's not nearly as good as the, um... Uh, nearly as good as the... Jeep that we have, or the four off, off-road off four-wheeler thing. But yeah, I would say that's probably true. That's mainly for scouting, which is uh, kind of what I'm trying to do. Scout out if I can find out where we would need to head in a faster, more, um, better supported vehicle like the off-road thing. Maybe I can find, if I can find another city with a giant building that we can explore, maybe. Okay, there's a lot of little roads that go off over here. What are these buildings over here? Did we explore this out here? We explored something out there. That is a pretty cool looking house down there. I just want to see what that house is. Looks like a mansion. That's, that is a cool looking house. And there's a giant bear. Alright, so that looks like mountains. So I'm pretty sure that's on the other edge of the map there. So, wow. Okay, maybe out this way will be the wasteland? 
So I'm pretty sure I've explored the entire, what is this, the east end of our map. Like this whole east end looks like mountains that are the edge of the map, so. Pretty sure we're guaranteed a wasteland to spawn, so I can't believe I have not found a road leading to that yet. Okay, we have plenty of fuel, so at least we won't run out of fuel as we're scouting around out here. Maybe I should go higher. If I get higher, maybe I can see further or something. Got another one of those mansion-like houses over there. But that looks like edge of the world mountains over there so i think i'm gonna head this way i wish there was an auto run like numlock or something like in mmos but i don't think there is an auto run in this game is that an empty plot or is that just not loading in i feel like there's supposed to be something on that dirt right there yeah there's something it's just not loading in there it is I think that's the place we explored. Yeah, there was a stage in the back. Yeah, we actually explored that area. Okay. Okay, if that's the end of the roads, I'm pretty sure that's end of the map. So, wasteland is not to the north. It's got to be either south or west. Fly over these really chonky mountains over here. We got some Rocky Mountain High going on over here. Colorado. <laughs> Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> <laughs> we should build a house up here. It'd be a great view. <laughs> Although it's really freaking far from everything. <laughs> Yeah, you can actually see my trail on the map. It's crazy. So, Shogi, do you know if all the biomes will spawn on every uh, every random map? I, I assume... No, I don't actually know, to be honest. I assume that they, they would have to spawn at least the major biomes, like snow, desert, and wasteland. Uh, let me... Um, let me Google. Google the Googles. I wonder if there's an area next to the forest I haven't. I followed that road. I don't know. I am hungry, am I? Okay, can I eat? I guess I have to land to eat. Actually, I'm not going to land. You're just going to have to go hungry for a bit, sir. Ah, uh, wow. Okay, well, I put my search into my Amazon. <laughs> so Amazon does not have any information on seven days of die biome okay. generation at all. Good, good. Well, you know, that's the first place you want to check. They don't sell that. So in case <laughs> you guys were wondering if what Amazon doesn't sell, it doesn't sell that. No, uh, what were those guides back in the 90s? Puma guides, or there was like some company that created all those video game guides. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what's up, Pie Boy? Hi. Uh, not much. Maybe Pie Boy knows. Do you know if... It says it's supposed to. It's supposed to spawn every biome? Oh, wait okay. a minute. As of Alpha 20, is that what we're on? The Burnt Forest does not generate in these maps. Burnt Forest. I'm looking for Wasteland. That's the Burnt Forest. Yeah, this... Is Wasteland, wasteland different is from different. Burnt Forest? I don't know. It says it's different. It says it's its own thing. Okay, okay. All right. Is there coming for me? No. Okay. Yeah, it says it should. Auto generated should be desert, forest, snowy forest, wasteland. Snowy forest, forest, desert, and wasteland. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The then we should have a wasteland. Okay. All right. Well, it's definitely not on the east or north part of our map, so I'm now. Going along the western edge here. And then gonna head south. 
Because judging from what I can see, um, I'm like following every road to the edge of these biomes. They're all leading to like mountains, so don't think anything's past these uh, these roads at the, that go to the edge of the map. What's out here? It's like a little church at the edge of the edge of the world over here. What's going on over here? Give a invite to pie. Man, this is like a really frosty, frozen wasteland over here. It's like super hardcore snowing. My guy's freezing. I might need to go shelter up in this place to warm up a bit or something. <laughs> Sheltering in a cabin in the middle of the woods in seven days to die. What could possibly go wrong with this situation? <laughs> sure, it wouldn't be. You know, filled with horrible flesh-eating zombies or anything. Nah, you're fine. Alright, let's go check out what's inside of here and maybe warm up a bit. Oh, there's a wolf there. It is nighttime as I explore this place, too. Probably not a good idea. Let's do it. Okay. Do you know your power mission? All right. Don't mind me, zombies. I'm just getting here to, to, to warm up. Actually, I should skin that wolf. Get some meat from him. all about that rotten flesh. Yeah, it's true. I do need the rotten flesh. Okay, alright. I'm warming up in here at least. I'm definitely hearing zombies all around me in this random house that I've decided to explore. Hey, what's up, MJ Fumperdink? It's been a while, eh? Well, good to see you. I've had a couple people say it's been a while lately, so. <laughs> this is nerve-wracking. Yeah, being in this house in the middle of a snowy wasteland trying to warm up, and all I hear is zombies banging on doors all around the house. There you are. Come on in. Come on in. Only a crazy murder hobo with a spear in here. I'm not hobo. You are crazy. And a murderer, so, you know. But only the zombies. I only murder zombies. Trying to come in the front door or what? What am I hearing? I think they're- Oh! Where... Oh, God! <laughs> He's literally on the ground. Okay, that's why I couldn't find you. Okay, I'm gonna spend the night at this house. Night at Zombie Tower. Then we'll uh, go back to exploring tomorrow when it's daytime. There's totally something in there. Oh, a garment bag. Okay. Okay. 
God, I hear the zombies, but I cannot find them. They have to be up in this crickety old staircase. Look at, again, nothing could possibly go wrong. Exploring an old cabin, abandoned cabin in the woods. Who? Impact Bracing Mod Schematic. What is that? Impact Bracing Mod. What does that do? I wish I could see what that does. To make one of those. Uh, I bet you you can fall further without taking damage. I oh, that. That's... Yeah, that lets you fall further. Nice. That's cool. Had the bunker in a rather server at bedrock level, and we had a block of hay jump down the entire staircase with one of those. Okay. Very Minecraft of you. Okay. Gotta, gotta have that cheese. There's a dressing dummy over here, randomly. God, there. I just hear zombies tearing apart this house as I'm exploring. This is terrifying. Come on, zombies. It's a nice house. Don't ruin it. Family lived here. Okay, I think they just busted through. Almost. Sound like some vague 80-ish film, Night at Zombie Tower. There you go. If zombies are already dead, can you murder them? Totally. Absolutely. Oh, God. All I was thinking during your um, exploring was the Lord of the Rings music. Uh, which, which Lord of the Rings music? Da, 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 da. Oh, like, like in... Like Moria, like we're exploring, running away from the Balrog in Moria or something. Yeah, can I go out this way? Okay. Oh god. Okay, well, I got another dart trap working. Oh my god. Nice. I practically killed myself doing it. <laughs> oh, there's a hangman's noose over here. Okay. Well, that's where I went in. Oh, there's... Can I climb that? There's loot up there. What the hell is a hangman's noose doing here? Oh, nice. I reached it. Okay. Well, there was not much to this house at all. Unless there's something else out here. Oh, that's how I already explored that. Okay, well, I feel like I've totally explored this nothing of a house. We're exploring there. Yeah, it's the... Okay, well, this house in the middle of nowhere is not all that impressive. Not surprisingly. Uh, fuel it up. Okay. Keep five. Okay. Yep, we have a. It's called a gyrocopter. What's up, Vega? We made oh, this. Say. Show you made this at the end of last stream. Are you using shift? To go faster. No, I forgot that you could do that on vehicles. That's the other reason why I probably feel so slow. I think that uses up fuel faster, but that's right. I should be doing that. Do not like how this thing sounds. Sounds like it'll fall, fall apart any second. Yes, you are not the only one who's a little worried about the durability of this thing. <laughs> As I started flying around, I was like, this feels flimsy. <laughs> All right. I don't know, man. So far, I have not seen anything that's given me a hint of where the wasteland biome is. I have hit the edge of the snow biome. I'm now going down towards this. 
desert biome. Hopefully it's off the west side of the desert biome, because I'm running out of places to check to find our last biome here. Gotcha. I'm pretty sure we've explored some of this, but you know what? There is a road that heads out to the west. That might actually be where it is. I bet you that is where it is. Because if we can find this biome, I don't know if we'll be able to explore today since we are one day away from the seventh blood moon, which is probably going to be a rough where one. You, where, are you, where are you always hitting me, Pi? Sorry? Why are you trying to hit me, man? <laughs> oh, okay. Testing if PvP was still on. <laughs> right. Okay, I found another ice snow city over here, actually. Oh, that's cool. Another giant city over here to the west. It's funny that the guy who invented the gyrocopter invented it because he wanted an aircraft that couldn't stall. Really? This thing sure sounds like it wants to stall, that's for sure. And that is one big snow biome, man. Okay. Does shift work on the gyrocopter? Yeah, I guess yep. it, it does. Okay. You really don't know to speed when you're... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. There's like a double city over here. Okay. I should probably take apart some cars in the city to get more fuel for this thing. Okay, so I can see there's desert over that way. All this major road here. God, I've been flying around for almost an hour, and I still haven't gotten out of this snow biome. Jeez. Oh my god, this might be the biggest city I've seen so far. Holy crap. You don't want to know what happens if you run out of fuel midair? Uh... You, you, yeah, you probably crash. Don't think it's a dramatic thing. Yeah, it's probably just you slowly load down. Oh, I see some. I see three giant churches in this town. I think those are churches. Holy crap! This city is huge. I found the Metroplex. I'm going to land here. I think I do want to get some fuel from some cars in the city. I'm trying to land this thing in the middle of a city. Sure, I'm sure I totally won't crash. Okay, there's Town Hall. Okay, here we go, here we go. Are there any cars in this town? Ah, oh, there's, there's a rusted car, okay. Yeah, an impact brace, I actually have one on my own. Oh god. Boots. Oh god, okay, I have to pick this thing up. Go. All right, we're going to carry our car with us here, and I'm going to sneak around. Oh, okay, I'm not going to sneak around. I see a wolf over there. Okay. Oh, God, I hear a screamer or something. Oh, that's the... Hey, Pi. Oh, what, Jesus. What is okay. ammo under... Okay, apparently this entire town is attacking me. Cool. Ooh, I'm glad I have this submachine gun or whatever the hell it's called. What is ammo under pie? When you're trying to craft it for like 44? Weapons? Weapons, weapons. 
It's my town, not your town, Zambies. My town. Strength? Are you trying to craft ammo? Yeah, do you have the ability just to craft 44? Or no how? Uh, you need the workbench. Uh, I need part of the gyrocopter oh, thanks to the yeah. rotor. Always okay. auto-rotating as you don't lose kinetic energy, switching to auto-rotation like you do on a helicopter. Okay, I... I, I I feel like you talk about real life things, Vega, when we're playing video games, and like I don't think that it works in this video game. <laughs> like I don't, I don't think that this video game gyrocopter um, avoids losing kinetic energy, switching to auto rotation. I don't think that's a thing <laughs> in this game. If it was, that'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool, absolutely. But this thing looks feels like it loses kinetic energy immediately. So not quite as cool as a real uh real life gyrocopter, I guess. Do we have robotic tower or turret ammo just sitting around? Robotic turo uh <laughs> turo. Robotic churros? <laughs> um mm, delicious. Uh yeah, there I have some back here. Bye. In the back by me. It's on the back wall. All right, right here, let's grab this some little stuff here. Ooh, a steel jet. spear. I, that might actually be an upgrade to my spear. I wonder if a level one steel spear is an upgrade to a level three iron spear. 16, 20. Yes, it is. Okay, so I would like to change out my spears here. Sweet and crunchy. Yes, what are we talking about? What's sweet and crunchy? This damage is 13. Yeah, it's huge. I thought you had a steel spear, right? Uh, I've had an iron spear this entire time. I don't think I've seen a, a steel spear before now. I think I want the burning one. I don't think I found a steel spear um, schematic because, like, I have, we have steel spear parts, or I know we have some steel something parts. Oh my God, there are just zombies all over this town. One, two, take me to zombie town. One, two, take me to. Zombie town. God, that guy got one shot. Robotic. Oh, the robotic churros are the sweet and crunchy things. Gotcha. <laughs> yes. You get them at robotic uh, amusement parks. Yes. Robot Six like Flags. This. I did go to um, Alton Towers yesterday. Oh yeah, how did yeah. that go? Well, that's good. So with my friend and her oldest kid. Nice. Um, continue my max masochistic nature watching him on some of the roller coasters for the first time. You know how kids are, they're like brave into they get on the roller coaster. I wasn't as a kid, so this kid sounds braver than I was. I think there's a joke here. I see a police station right next to a donut shop here in this town. That's 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 a joke. Oh, what am I dropping? I'm dropping batteries and engines. Okay. Mm, don't think we need any more of those anyway. Now I got that dumb song on my hitch. <laughs> Sorry. And I don't like that song. You talking about the Funky Town song? Yeah. Yeah. My bad. That use is Ulchin sandwich using recipes. It is okay. 
ultram sandwich make first aid kit. Oh really? Okay, well then I definitely don't want or to just something weirdly you don't want to just or antibiotics. That. No antibiotics. Okay, so I wanna go north. I wanna fly north. Okay. Uh, actually I probably wanna follow this major road here, so gyrocopter. All right. I think we can drop all our weapons for the batteries. I, yeah, that is definitely not a good plan. But thanks for the suggestion. Who needs weapons? All I need is a crappy car battery that I can fight off waves of zombies with. It's like a great plan. I'm all for it. Let's do it. <laughs> Just smacking zombies with a car battery. This is not very effective. Sure wish I had that spear I threw on the ground, though. Okay. God, it's like really foggy out here. Okay. Fall on this one. Road looks like just goes to a cabin in the woods. That looks like the edge of that part of the map. Okay. So I think we head this way. I love how this gyrocopter is basically a seat, two propellers. And a gas tank. That's that's the extent of what it actually is. <laughs> it does its job. Barely, but you're right, it does. <laughs> it's the best of the best. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, it's great because you can, looking at this thing, oh, I, I left off the two fins on the back. A fin for left, right, up, and down. And that is that is all there is to this thing, the most basic flying contraption ever. Man, by the time I get back, I am going to have to start working on... Uh, I want to make a few changes to the uh, blade trap entrances so that once they go through the blade traps, they can't immediately go up the stairs to, our, to the wall that we're defending because I don't... I was not expecting them to get through so easily last time. That's what a lot of auto auto gyros look like. Well, I'm sure it's purposefully as slimmed down as it can possibly be. What kind of, is that like a prison? U.S. Army post. Oh. I bet you there's some good loots there. A waypoint army post. Okay. That also looks like a military place there. Army post might have blueprints, weapons, and other goodies. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much time exploring out here. That's why I marked it so that maybe later we can come back to it. Heck yeah. Um because I want to make sure I get back before Blood Moon, which is tomorrow. And I've already spent a whole day flying around and haven't found a wasteland yet. But that could be one of our next targets of exploration and looting. And honestly, I'd rather come back with the, uh, the four-wheeler because it has more storage for loots. What the wasteland have? Uh, Wasteland, I think, has the highest level of, um, loot, right? Aren't, isn't the Wasteland, like, the highest level of biome loots tables or something? I feel like somebody in chat said that at some point. Tail fins are there so you can steer it. I assumed that was their function, yes. <laughs> I may not have flown one of these in real life, but I... Have a basic understanding of what each part does. Okay. 
Okay, so the huge town was over there. We explored these little roads that went off to little houses. I'm hoping down over here, maybe it will be. Oh, I watched the video back for this last week, or the week before. Yeah. And that moment where you fell out of the <laughs> the yeah, I broke my leg. Yeah, and it took you ten seconds. Ten seconds to realize you're still alive. <laughs> yeah, I thought I, I just assumed I was dead when I fell a hundred <laughs> feet out of a gyrocopter. <laughs> now I remember why my leg was broken in when I logged back in because of when I fell out of the gyrocopter. I totally forgot about that. I blocked it from my mem my memory. It was a painful memory. Yep. You win again, gravity. <laughs> next time, Gravity. <laughs> next time. He is my gravity. nemesis. I'll get you next, next time. time. <laughs> uh, your mushrooms have grown, by the way. Okay. If you want to... Well, actually, probably you shouldn't harvest them since you don't have the... I uh... don't have living off the land, otherwise I'd have just done it without saying anything. Yeah. Well, I checked them earlier and some of them were ready, but I was just waiting for the full thing to be done. I've already done one harvest today. I got everything but my mushrooms, though. I'm just shoring up the build. Uh, another good thing about a gyrocopter is the rotor can't tulip. Well, I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> I guess tuliping no, a rotor is bad. No touch in Rand's hallucinogenics. <laughs> what? Oh, my, my, my hallucinogenic mushrooms. Yo, man, don't touch the, the greenery, man. That's just like your opinion, man. <laughs> yeah, it's just like <laughs> you you don't know what you're even talking about, man. Oh, we got some like mesa looking stuff in the desert over here. I haven't seen that. Terrain type. Alright, before we go in the desert, I'm gonna land and refuel since I'm down to thirty seven percent. I definitely know nothing about people where you mine on altering substances. Hey uh Shogi, how's Burger? <laughs> how's, uh, how's burger? Just like general? I hear burgers actually borderline back to streaming soon. Yeah, that's what I heard. Ooh, nice. I, d I did hear that he um he did take uh, a dump in his car again just recently. What a guy. Uh, he did a what? Uh, burger's notorious for like waiting to use the bathroom way way too long and then having to take a dump like in a bag in his car oh my god <laughs> that is... we had to and then, serious and then uses like his socks to wipe oh um, my god that's there's like there's a there's always an ongoing joke in regards to that yeah that's what the joke bliff was making the other day oh yeah. my Chat. god burger what is wrong with you man oh god that's... he's just always good you want yeah, to meet said... that guy sideline angel oh jeez <laughs> Dude, number one, Burger's one of the coolest people. Burger is awesome, world. yeah. He is awesome. Um, he he's did say that... almost as cool as Richard. He did almost... <laughs> That's true. He's almost as cool as Richard Keith. Um, he was in mid-squat, and then someone pulled up next to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I found it! I found a wasteland! Yes! Hey, okay, so it's way See? out to the west. Talk about Burger. Tricks happen. <laughs> That's right. All right. Of course, of course, Bliff said, when well, these people pulled up, he goes, I hope you made cont eye contact. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I said, Ali, you better at least give those guys a thumbs up. So, I'd like, everything's okay over here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, Burger's got, like, the best, the best stories, man. The, I, his stories make me embarrassed. Like, and that's his I life. Mean, I mean, it happens. It happens to, it happens to the best of us. Uh, that, that's never happened to me. I mean, I don't think so. Like it, it's, it's, <laughs> a, it's happened, like, driving out where I, you just got to, like, pull out. And, well, like, I was in drive through Texas where there's, like, nothing. And you're just like, oh, God, I got to go. I guess well, yeah. I pull it off to the side. Well, at <laughs> least side of the road, not in your car. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm pulling off to the side of the road in that abandoned ditch. <laughs> All right, this is probably spooky, but I need to land just so I can put a map thing here. Good thing I saved those McDonald's napkins. Oh man, like there's a like, spooky wind going on here. That is a giant 
That is a giant um, zombie bear, actually. I need to... A zombie bear? Yeah. Zombie bear. Yeah, I'm hoping... Bird comes back soon. He's stuck on a post, thank god. Okay. Okay, okay, zombie bear down. Now I can... Get a look at my surroundings over here. Yeah, like you can hear the wind m moaning and stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's another. Z Apparently, zombie bears just live here because holy crap, I've already seen nice. two zombie bears. Okay, let me start throwing a bunch of junk in here right now. And I are ready to take down some zombie bears. I want that. And then we get some more gas from this. I can find another blade trap if you like, for sure. Um... I mean, extending that to a third blade trap in each one probably wouldn't be bad. But uh, it'll take some time, and I don't, we might need more engines and motors or whatever. We do something like that. Ah, uh, okay. I'll... Hold off for now, because I've already doubled it from the last time that we survived the Blood Moon, and they worked pretty well. Well, I, I think the most important thing that you should start with is your signage is missing. The oh, VIPs true. don't know that this is the entrance. Obviously. Whew. Because I don't know what's the VIP entrance. <laughs> Holy crap, I unloaded an entire clip of sniper rifle bullets on this thing and he still didn't die before he got a shot off on me. But you're right, we need the uh, VIP entrance signage. You're absolutely right. Okay, I'm just going to mark right here. Wasteland City. Save waypoint. How far exactly is it? Let me see. I'll tell you in just a second. Wasteland City. Um, let me look at where my base is. That is... Oh, you're blue. Okay. You're 5.8 kilometers. Yeah, away. sounds about right. About 6 kilometers away. All right, so I'm going to head back so I can start preparing for day 49. But now we finally know where to go for a wasteland exploration. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta make our way out there. Yeah, I, I think we should prepare for day 49 before we do that, though. Let's see, fire station, O'Malley Oats. I don't see any big towers in this place. There might be other cities in the wasteland to find, like the wasteland loot towers. So looking on a helicopter means the blades bend upwards, which causes the well, causes the helicopter to crash. Okay, all right, that does sound quite bad. Okay, where's home sweet home? Home sweet home is this way. It's basically a straight shot west. I don't know how I didn't wasn't able to find this before. I guess I was assuming it would be on the other side of the snow or desert biome. Oh, okay, here's a second city in the wasteland. Let's see if there's any towers in this city. Speaking of the desert, have I been through it? Yeah, yeah, we've done a couple explorations of the desert. Uh, we found more of the bigger towers in the snow biome than in the desert biome. So we've explored the... Uh, the snow biome towers more than we have the desert biome towers. Ooh, thank you so much, Pi. Have I been to the desert with a horse on a horse with no name? Not yet, sadly. <laughs> what oh, is have you got... Oh, well, that's, that's the medic drone. A oh, sniper Pi, volume two. Brilliant. Medic drone? Ooh. 
Did That's you just... the mod for the drone. Did you just... Oh, it's the mod. Okay. Oh, it should be the book to teach you how to make it. Oh, well, let me find out. Can I? Was that what it was? Robotic. I need to see if there are mods for this uh, gyrocaptor. Cause it is no, it, tell, it still tells me I need the uh, the schematic for the drone itself. Uh, you can make a fuel saver mod for it. Yeah, I think I think I might even have the uh, schematic. I would have to actually make it. I was going to ask you, have you read a certain book? Then I realized you can't really check while you're flying. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Push R. <laughs> You mean E to jump out? I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's what I meant to say, sorry. I'm not breaking my leg again. I fell for that once. <laughs> I like how you say fell for that once. You fell for your own ploy? <laughs> yeah. I, I tricked myself into jumping out. I don't know what I was trying to accomplish with that, but... Uh... <laughs> Yes, literally fell for that. Literally fell from the sky for that, yes. <laughs> Pie Boy will allow that pun. All right, well, when we head out this way, we'll definitely have to bring the... Uh, bring the uh, four-wheeler, what is it called? Off-road. I don't know, did you name it? I don't. I didn't name it, but I think it's it, called four by four. Four by four. That's what it is. All right. If I were to make a landing strip for this thing, basically, I would just need to cut down a bunch of trees. I think to make a landing strip for this this guy. A long stretch of trees cut down. Probably put that like off to the side of our base. And then, I still don't think they're that good, but I put down a robotic turret on the garage. But I got one from a quest reward. No, I looted one, so... It's either scrap it or put it down. I'm looking forward to seeing Shogi's tower come over the horizon as I'm flying back home. Ah, uh, home sweet Isengard. How close are we? We're getting there. Shogi. Eh. I'm not worried about that. I need to place things. Thank you very much, Fly. I haven't got my medic up to full yet. I've got it like a couple of ranks. That's pretty good. Yeah, I put two on. Thank you. Yes, I see it. I think right in front of me, I see your, your tower. <laughs> That's so cool. Or I see the walls to it, actually, is what I see. First thing. Multitasking at its finest. You're watching the stream while writing for a campaign while making these stat blocks for a few things for said campaign. Nice. Wait, why am I typing in chat? What system are you writing for? Okay, I need to clear out these trees to have a... Fifth edition, cool. A landing pad here. I like 3.5 more, but 3.5 is such an easy system to write for and run. And it's so streamlined, and it's really good. Smooth landing. Perfect. Perfectly smooth landing. All right, let me take out all the loot here. I ran a two games of 5th edition D&D &D at the con, and I didn't even, like, have a player's handbook about that's how easy to run. Okay, so I need... Alright. Hey, I, I landed through the trees and branches and didn't barely even hit 
more than a couple of them. I'd say that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I will say this this black cement is pretty cool looking. It, love, <laughs> it's shinier than I would expect a, you know, defensive tower to be. I feel like I'm inside the Nagato Nagatomi Towers or something. Okay. We have extra... What are we placing our extra batteries and everything? Didn't we have a place for our extra batteries and engines? Because this thing's full. I'm going to put them in the... I'm going to put them in the miscellaneous dump chest for now. Because there's just... I keep getting lots of them. So there. Okay, mods. Can I make a steel spear yet? need a book for that, I think. Yeah, I need Spear Hunter Volume 3, so I can't make that yet. Oh, that sniper took back. You hadn't read it. Do what? Well, there was a book in the chest you hadn't read. Was there? Let's see here. thought I'd read everything in here. Uh, I, I am showing that I read everything. Oh, Sniper Volume 2. You're right. Okay. What is this? Crippling shot. Leg shots cripple all but the strongest enemies. How did I miss that? Man. Uh, I only took that book back today. Oh, that's why. how I missed it. Because it just appeared. Okay. Okay. Throw buckshot in there. Oh, God. Okay, out of cream. You can uh, put glass. Can you put broken glass inside the smelter and it turned to something like sand? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to do that. I'll put this metal in there. Place is impressive. Talking about our base? Yes. Shogi has done a great job on this base. I've had a little bit to it, but it's mainly his his construction. How do I hear zombies really close to us? That's just me. Oh, that's you. Okay. <laughs> I thought it came through my mic. All right, bones. Are we keeping bones in here? Where are we keeping bones? Probably in here. Okay. I guess I'll throw this mod in here. Okay, where are leather? You're like a true chef in this game. I am. I'm making some really good food, man. Feel free to eat, because I got lots of good stuff in there. Oh, I meant because... You make all the food and all the stuff, but you're usually starving or dying oh. at first. <laughs> well, that's uh, I, that's not on purpose. It's because I've been flying through horrible... If you fly through, I think, the desert and the snow biome, I think it makes you get hungrier and thirsty faster if you're not wearing the right clothes for it. So, blame the environment. But yeah, Shogi actually did recently make a bunch of big changes. He's been... Um, um, painting, as you can see, <laughs> painting wood on stone. That's it's, it's the that great paint thing. job. Horrible. <laughs> All right, let's throw this in here. All right, so okay, I guess I'll put the signs up first. We got to put the VIP signs on, and then uh, so I need nails. So I need forty nails. Do we have nails? Hope you're okay with me using nails for this. I'm distraught at the idea. I'm a little distraught at the idea. 40 nails just to say VIP entrance? <laughs> a zombie VIP entrance? I have a present for you. Oh, okay. 
Home, uh, what is this? A level five AK. Is that better than my M60 machine gun, though? I don't think it is. Oh, yeah, you... I thought you were running on a bare AK. That was crap. No, well, I, I used to be using a level three, so that was an upgrade until last stream when I got the uh, M... What is this called? M40? M60. M60. I appreciate that, though. Oh, and then we got a level five um, assault rifle, too. Assault rifle. How's that... Different than an AK. That's different. It's not like a sniper, is it? The um, M4. The M4. M4. Okay. Yeah, the uh, tactical assault rifle. Right? Yeah, no, it doesn't look like an M4. Painting wood on stone. You've seen some churches where they paint the wood to look like marble. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's kind of like that. Is what we're doing. Kind of like that. Is that the gun? Is it the AR-15? The common American uh, assault rifle. VIP. Yeah. Zombie Normal entrance. Alright, there we go. VIP zombie entrance. One of four created. VIP. Only very important zombies are allowed in here. Not those run-of-the-mill plebeian zombies. Exactly. You plebs. You plebs. Oh, that is a screamer, I think. If you're dead, you're dead. She was a plebeian zombie, by the way. VIP zombie entrance. Only zombies who love Katy Perry and <laughs> Adele are allowed in here. I love Adele. <laughs> Did you just say who's Adele? So no, I love Adele. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you said who's Adele. <laughs> V-I-Z, maybe. But... That's, that's too pun-like for me. It's a very important zombie person, okay? It's not V-I-P, V-I-Z. Very important zombie. <laughs> yep. I refuse to say it. Even though it's more phonetically correct. I never understood why UK people say Zed. Is that just uh, what you we... learned in school or something? Because we're more sophisticated. That's my BS. Zed is more sophisticated, gotcha. You would go into the VIZ entrance then because of how sophisticated you are. The VIZ entrance. It's like how you say garage. Uh, <laughs> you mean how we say garage? <laughs> All right, where's my coffee? Yeah, I've seen that. There's <laughs> this thing randomly sometimes comes up on Facebook, and it's some somebody who made a like either YouTube or a TikTok or something of it's a picture of the United States with lips on it, talking to a picture of the UK with lips on it, and they're talking back and forth, saying the words they use for different things, and it's it's just <laughs> the UK people going, "What are you talking about? Why do you call it that?" <laughs> and one of the one of the funniest ones to me is like. Um, I like to call it, uh, UK says, uh, it's a lift. It's like, I, ca I like to call it escalator because I feel like it escalates me to a higher level. And the UK <laughs> guy's like, oh, that's surprisingly, um, sophisticated. Okay, I'll allow that one. Because <laughs> it escalates me to a higher level. Because I feel like it escalates me higher. <laughs> They're like, uh, we call it the bin. 
I call it a trash can because it's the can where I keep my trash. Okay, okay, that's very literal, but okay. <laughs> Just all these stupid things. And and they do the one about uh, what is a. Uh, uh, I call it an eggplant. I don't know why. I'm just so random. I call it an eggplant. Whatever they, what, uh, whatever the UK people call that. An aubergine. Yeah, aubergine. He's like, I call it an eggplant. <laughs> don't ask me why. It's just so random. <laughs> it's just so stupid that it cracks me up. Garen, not Garan. I don't know what a Garen is. Like an M1. Well, we see oh, Garant is what we M1 would say. Garant, yeah. What we say. Isn't that G A R A N T E? I thought that was not a D. No, G A R A N T. I watched that a video right? about okay. um, Liam on Garant the other day. This old boy telling you how not to get Garant fun. Oh, um, yeah. If you push the clip in and you don't use your hand to hold back the receiver, it Snaps will in on you. snap in and it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks painful. It breaks a pencil path. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta ask Shogi, what should I be making my landing strip out of? Should it be like just a wooden floor, yeah. or should I dig down to dirt? What should I dig, make it out of? Oh, that I, that I don't know. I guess you, just, you probably should dig. I don't know. That's a good question. You probably should just dig down, like just make a flat water. area of dirt, I guess. Yeah. I would elevate it onto a platform. I think so. Elevate it onto a platform. Okay. Yeah, about three or four high. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, wow. Why? Why so high? Easier to see, or? Yeah, that high, really. But then again, everyone I play with got the parkour. Well, um, I'm, I'm worried. Ability, so. I don't want zombies to attack it. Do you think they'll... They wouldn't just attack a platform of wood, right? I don't, I don't know if they would or not. Not really. Um, unless it gets in their way. Or you're on it. A little elevation would be good for security reasons, you think? Okay, all right. Uh, we'll do... Uh, we'll, we'll elevate it. So it's tall enough to walk under, I guess. I'm gonna make it run east to west here as I clear out these trees. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. I actually am a lumberjack because the college I went to is called the SFA Lumberjacks. So Axum Jacks is actually our, our little school motto thing. So <laughs> you're making a Pretty joke, cool. but you're right. Uh, I do have a random question for you though. Do you, what map have you treasure maps have you read um got or read uh what treasure can i look that up if you've read them they'll be in your quests if you haven't read them be wherever you map away uh well let me look at my books oh no you're saying so it'd be my quest log i guess is what you're saying yeah claude's treasure map is the only one i've read oh claude well, I, and it looks like I have a second one, actually. Can you do two of those? So I've completed one, and I have another one that I can do, apparently. Oh, that's four clubs. Okay. So I'm digging up a Claude's treasure map. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of Claude's, and they all like to, you know, have their own treasure maps, I guess. Okay, I don't want to do this. Maybe like this. I'm going to even have a ramp to this, I think. All right, how wide do I want this thing to be? Maybe five to be sure. Something like that. Nope, that's not what I want. Is there a less steep ramp than this? There are, surely there are less steep ramps than this, right? Let's see. 
with all the different shapes they have now, there's probably less steep ramps. Oh, uh, let's see. Wedge, what about this guy? Okay, yes, so I need the top part of that, so that would be here. Oops. I actually am a lumberjack. I actually am. I never learned how to chop trees, but, you know, that is just what our mascot, our school mascot was. Okay, that looks right. Yeah. That would be this guy. Beautiful. All right, we have a less steep ramp now. Let's do, let's do two of those. So I'm going to copy that shape to go there. Now I actually do need my shovel. Well, to cut trees down, you need all the cutting te edge technology. <laughs> Dear God, Rand is a jump lumberjack, and he's okay. Yes, very true. And very Monty Python of you. How does that one end? I... Uh... Like to dress like a girl or whatever it is that he did. <laughs> they do in that skit. And then copy this one right here. There we go. Like to wear a bra or something. <laughs> I forget exactly what they say in that. Okay, there we go. There's a. Uh... Oh, wait, that's not elevated as much as I want it to be, actually. So let's have this continue up. To this guy. Put on women's clothing and hang around in bars. Yeah, <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds right. Uh, okay, how elevated is this? This is one, two, three. Let's go up one more level here. And I'm sure me saying that on stream won't couldn't possibly backfire with somebody misquoting me at all. Oops. A little safer, I'm not chat to trip it. <laughs> no uh no plunder big here to to misquote me. I say with air quotes. Okay, I think that will hopefully be tall enough. Okay, so something like that. Either of you need to learn how to make the vehicle saver mod. The which mod? A vehicle saver. Um. I can make the supercharger, the headlight mod. Uh, I do need to learn the vehicle fuel saver mod, yes. Okay, how... Do you know how many you, you can go across before you need supports with um, shapes, frame shapes? Three, four. To be as efficient as possible. So I don't have to create supports every like three layers or something. One, don't know. Two, most I'd risk four. That's the most you've risked. Okay, so if I go here, doesn't mean I have a clue what I'm talking about. I'll just do one support there. Okay. Uh, gosh, I better I better play it safe. What's this for again? This uh, you see my uh. Gyrocopter, this is going to be a landing strip. So I have a place to land in the middle of this forest. Mumsy Shogi. Two, three, yes, sir. Four. Can you uh, make me lockpicks? Yeah. 
I'm just taking big Oh, and some repair kits. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Love is, you, man. Is, is, is lockpicks in just your own inventory? Crafting? Uh, no, in the workbench. Just making out of wood, but we might upgrade it to, like, I don't know, concrete or something eventually for this thing. Repair. Oh, I can't actually make lockpicks. I guess you need the great heist completion. I can make lockpicks if you need me to. I can make the repair kits. Uh oh, I think Bacon Ninja may have coded something. Is that what that is? <laughs> oh crap. Wow. I think he quoted me saying, put on women's clothing and hang around in bars. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna guess. That's, that's fine. I'm gonna guess that's what that clip is. <laughs> it, won't, it won't hold it again, sure. I mean, you know, people like ex their own extracurricular activities. Yeah. You know what? You don't know. I I could go to those. What are those? What are those bars called where they do? Discos. What disco? No. Yeah. No, I'm talking about. Um... Oh, where are those guys who cross dress? What are those bars? Discos. I don't call. Just say just just call them discos, right? Not a disco. It's uh. <laughs> Well, uh, not not a gay bar, but there's what are they called? Drag show, drag show is what I'm trying to think of. Okay. I know people who do that, so. <laughs> I just call them discos. Okay, I've never heard them called discos before. Sounds very. They're 70s. probably not. They're probably not called discos. But it's, my thing is, if you're there to just to have a good time and dance and do your thing, it's a disco. Okay. All right. Drag is very different from a gay bar. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. But I think they sometimes do drag at gay bars. Like drag race. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay, how long do I need this thing to be? Uh, we'll go. We'll go a little further here. Although. I could be wrong because I've never been. I've just seen pictures on Facebook from friends who do go to <laughs> one or the other or both. Some of my uh, fraternity brothers in college. Okay. In uh, a music music school, not very surprising. On game topics, do you have a bandolier? A bandolier? What? It'll be on your. I think so. Trousers or your chest hmm. character. Uh, pockets. Yes, I have a bandolier mod on my chest piece. My steel chest armor. What about you, Shogi? Uh, I don't think I do. Let me check. Makes you reload faster or something, I think. Uh, 15 fast. What can you put it on? You can put it on your pants or what? Oh, chest yeah, armor. Chest, chest armor. Let me see what my chest armor has. Uh, I do. I do have a bandolier mod. How many can you put on there, actually? Though? Can you question me about FTL multiverse? Sure. I can't guarantee I'll know the answer, but sure. You can only have one at a time. Oh, okay. God, yeah, vanilla Minecraft, we've got you covered. <laughs> My verse, I don't know. I hope, God, I hope zombies don't destroy this thing right Did on day Did you say vanilla Minecraft, by? Uh, vanilla FTL. FTL. <laughs> I know a lot about vanilla Minecraft. Yeah, I was going to say, you probably do. I know a little bit about vanilla Minecraft. I haven't played for a little while, but... <laughs> I do know that my two nieces' favorite vanilla Minecraft update was the one where they added uh, Quetzalcoatls or whatever that new animal, that water animal was. They were all about trying to capture those things. That's awesome. I forget what they're called. Quetzalcoatls or something. 
Think I can stop the landing strip now? You think so? I think it's long enough? I want to make a ramp to it, so let me check. Let's, let's see how long this thing is. I mean, when you're flying, it's probably never bad to have more than you expect, more than you think you need for a takeoff or landing. Stop. Stop. Good. Axolotls? Yeah, that might be it. Axolotls. That, that, that sounds more... Potentially correct. Okay. Uh, let me actually do this. And I'm going to pick this up. That'll be much easier. We got a storm. I tried to flash a lightning on the ground. Go and let me unlock this guy so other people can use it. Okay. We Let's found see. another pizza. Honestly, I'm not sure if this is long enough. Let me try taking off once. Oof. I feel like that might be barely long enough. Landing on that thing, I feel like that's not. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> well, I've already landed. Crash landed. Uh, so I'm going to make this a little bit longer. Until you have flown one of these things, you do not know the challenge of landing and taking off <laughs> on a... Friggin' gyrocopter. It is not the most agile of aircraft. I will just say that. Uh, let's make another, like, 300 of these. So weird. I am watching your stream. Yeah. Is it not storming on yours? No. It, it is storming on mine. But on your screen, it's not. It's like completely like... It is storming. I hear it. I see rain. But when I look at the sky, you can barely see it. Like when I look around, I see lightning is, and rain. That is so weird. Yours looks like it has light out. Mine is completely dark out. Well, uh, for the stream, I have turned the gamma way up. Because oh, when it's dark, it's so hard to see the stream. So That, may, that might make That's sense. That's probably why. Oh, uh, let's see. You have a run on stealth ship default. You got two orchids. Okay. Uh, after that, immediately at or after the fight, your O2 began. Just being ioned, level three ion damage every six seconds. After that, you lost one of the orchids, but it continued being stunned forever. You also cannot repair it with usual crew because it stuns it for six seconds. Repair what? Your O2? Um... There are crew that, when they're inside rooms, uh, will eye on them. What are they called? Um, those those leeches, I think. Make sure you have don't have a leech in that room or something. But I don't I don't know if I can give you. I, I'm not a I'm not an MV dev, so I don't know if I can help you too much with that. If if Math Champ were here, he might be able to tell you a little better. Okay, I'm going to start my ramp now. I think this might be enough. Uh. Are there cat ears in Seven Days to Die? Cat ears? You mean like that you can wear as a hat? I buy that. I don't know. Right, I better just pick this up. It's going to be easier. And it's this guy. Oops. Like in Halo. I didn't know that Halo had cat ears like that, but uh, I, I, I could not tell you if, 
if this game does. I have I have not seen them. So maybe maybe would be my answer. Whoops. Try the coffee shape. There we go. Just to be safe, I'm gonna put a support underneath here. Okay, that should keep this thing falling. Oh, sorry, bird nest. Uh, you don't have it. You think you will win this run anyway, so you kind of don't- KILL JESUS! Okay. Big fat zombie out of nowhere, Jesus. Okay, well, I'm glad you'll win the run anyway. I don't know why you thought I would know more about a multiverse thing that than you, but okay. <laughs> Vanilla, I probably could help you out. Multiverse, I'm not the most knowledgeable on all the ins and outs. Oh, wolf, huh? I got the attention of some zombies over here. Am I sure it's wide enough? Um, honestly, it probably could use a little extra width. Giggity, that's what she said. Um, I could do one extra width both sides, and that won't take me long. Let's do that. It's got should have enough supports for that. Quite a, quite a thing you got going there. You know, I'm trying to. You're going big. Make something sturdy, you know. Land in this gyrocopter is no picnic, so I need some, you know, room for error. <laughs> I will say. Okay. Guarantee someone will comment. Looks ugly at the end. <laughs> uh, by someone do you mean you are you gonna say that because that's rude you know i work Hello. so hard am i still connected i hear you and i see you in game so i think so i'm moving out and i just got disconnected i think shogi actually just disconnected i think we lost shogi there all right, you know what? Time at least. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna GG cookie time, and this is a perfect time to take a break. <laughs> Hopefully, Shogi will log back in. Um, then we can get back in there. So, real quick, my friends, I'm gonna stretch you to the restroom. Thanks for watching, and don't call my landing pad ugly. But uh, when we come back, hopefully, Shogi will be back, and we can finish this thing up and test landing on it. So, y'all rock. Be back in just a bit, my friends.